It's me, Ruta, with you again. Welcome to this week's Let's Stay Near session. The aim of this project is to make it easier for you to learn about our university, uh, study opportunities, and campus life. So last week, we have presented you at the Turks Faculty of Education. Uh, and if you have missed anything about it, you can find them on our Facebook or YouTube pages remaining rec as recorded videos. Uh, so uh, this week, we're going to improve your familiarity. Today, we're going to improve your familiarity with the Faculty of Nursing and the Faculty of Pharmacy. So uh, to start this session, let us start with the Dean's presentation of both faculties and starting with uh, Professor Dr. Imran Dalilmaz, the Dean of the Faculty of Nursing. So your attention to uh, Dean of the Faculty of Nursing. Professor Imran Dal Yilmaz, I am Dean, Faculty of Nursing in Nearest University. The Nearest University Faculty of Nursing is a privileged institution that has gained scientific understanding and is able to transform knowledge into a professional level. The mission of the institution is to protect, develop, and maintain the health of the individual family and the community, developing and conducting basic nursing education and service using contemporary uh, approach and methods based on science and technology, developing care, education, research, management, consulting, and leadership roles. The vision of the faculty is to continue to become a leading nursing education institution that is recognized and prepared at national and international level by students, lecturers, educational programs, and research. One of the most important criteria of the quality of a university is providing qualified undergraduate and uh, graduate education. Since the uh, establishment of our school, we have continued our quality nursing education and have contributed uh, significantly to meet the needs of the nurse labor force in the country. The postgraduate education forms the basis for research and information production in the training of new uh, faculty members. In this context, the nearest university, Faculty of Nursing, pioneered graduate and PhD education in the Turkish Republic of North Cyprus. Uh, I want to give some information about the uh, profile of the program and method of education. Um, the first stage of occupational education and training programs includes a uh, basic science that is uh, fundamental of nursing practice, medical and nursing science. Uh, 
The course uh, of the uh, second stage are directly uh, related to nursing practice. The students uh, do uh, theoretical teaching and laboratory experiments in the classroom in addition to a community health and training course related to uh, patient care uh, at preventive and curative field hospital stars in other institutions. Uh, graduates uh, of the program uh, will receive the title of nurse with a high school diploma. Total um, 240 ECTS uh, credits must be completed after being successful in the courses to become a graduate from the nursing department. Uh, nowadays, there are total uh, more than um, 350 uh, foreign nursing students from different countries, such as Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Uganda, uh, Bangladesh, and uh, the other uh, from uh, the other countries. We have an uh, arrangement uh, for transfer from another nursing schools. Uh, the graduates uh, of the uh, second and uh, third year uh, based nursing school uh, were offered the opportunity to transfer for the four year uh, based, uh, based uh, science program. A student wishing a transfer from another university and all applications, uh, the students uh, must be proof for uh, his English proficiency if she or he wish to attempt the English uh, section. In our faculty, we have a, a good laboratories. Uh, faculty of Nursing has two application laboratory. Laboratories are equipment with technological materials and uh, dummies to make uh, them similar to the clinic. Uh, These laboratories equipment with modern equipment are used to practically train students on nursing principles, pregnancy and uh, childbirth, uh, child health and disease and nursing lessons. Our aim is to educate you as the most qualified nurses. You should choose us. Thank you so much for uh, Professor Dr. Umran Dal Wilmaz, uh, the Faculty Dean of Nursing. Uh, it was a very uh, good presentation with the full of information regarding the Faculty of Nursing. And now let's continue with our second faculty of today, so which is Pharmacy Faculty and the presentation and uh, greeting speech from the Dean of the Faculty of Pharmacy, Professor Dr. Ihsan Chalish. So for your attention, let's see, pharmacy, faculty of pharmacy. Hello, good afternoon uh, from faculty of pharmacy, nearest university. I am Professor Dr. Ihsan Çalış, the Dean of the School of Pharmacy. So, welcome to our faculty. Pharmacy education is uh, the health science. Uh, I think it's a link between medical sciences and chemistry. Uh, therefore, in the curriculum of School of Pharmacy, there are a lot of different uh, subjects, courses. Actually, uh, all of the courses are given 
by three departments. One of them is basic sciences. Uh, in this department, there are biochemistry, uh, analytical chemistry, microbiology, and chemistry. And the second one is the maybe very specific for pharmacy education, uh, which contains um, pharmaceutical sciences, actually uh, pharmacology, pharmacognosy, pharmaceutical chemistry, toxicology, under pharmacology, there are clinical pharmacy, which is a very new subject for pharmacy education, and pharmaceutical botany, uh, together with phytotherapy or phytopharmacy, I would like to say. Uh, botany, uh, actually, uh, when I talk about botany and biology, uh, maybe we have to go to thousands of years ago because the origin of medicine and pharmacy depends on botany. For me, I can say that uh, academic stuff, their level, academic level is very important. I'm very proud to have a good group um, as an academic staff in my faculty. On the other hand, we have a really very uh, extraordinary campus, including museum, library, uh, for social lives, for example, some sports centers we have, uh, Olympic swimming pool we have. I think this is another factor to choose this university. Moreover, uh, this is an international university. You can find maybe more than 60 different countries, uh, students. I think it's a good chance to be a, a human of the world, a part of the world, because you have a chance to contact for with the people or with the students who are coming from uh, all over the world. On the other hand, I think the campus uh, increased the inspiration of all students because it is not on, it is not important to take an education in one of the faculty because in your university life is very important. You are maybe going to the life, starting to a life. Uh, therefore, campus area uh, is also very important. As a faculty of pharmacy, uh, maybe I have to say at the beginning of my speech, there are theoretical courses as well as, I think it is one of the profession for which the students are uh, learning, have chance to make practical studies in the laboratories. And the laboratory of the faculty in this uh, building have been designed in a high level. It is also very important if you are a student in a faculty, you will, would like to use a high level standard. So I think uh, in this case, uh, the level of this faculty is very high. Theoretical courses and practical courses uh, are not enough because during the education you are not learning everything. However, you have a chance to start in a better way in our faculty because uh, we have a um, hospital, a big hospital, very modern hospital in the campus area. So you have a chance to make hospital a pharmacy, uh, to, to make a pharmacy practice as well as uh, community pharmacy practices are also supported by my colleagues in a good way. Uh, I think we, ha we are a good example for many of the faculty of pharmacy. On the other hand, not only campus, Cyprus is really very uh, nice country in respect to nature, history, uh, and maybe 
peaceful island, uh, I can say, to define this country. Uh, it is a big chance. A pharmacy education uh, is very dynamic uh, education because year by year uh, we are going to change the program. But certification or accreditation uh, is also a very important subject for pharmacy education because uh, each of the faculty should uh, contain uh, maybe similar um, curriculum and actually um, all over the world uh, pharmacy education is similar but uh, the curriculum or the contents of the courses uh, may be different from country to country. It depends on the necessity of the health uh, care system in the region. Uh, in our region, in Middle East area, uh, we have some um, core education program curriculum but uh, it is not enough alone. Certification or accreditation process is also another important subject. And I can say that uh, our um, program is also certified by Accreditation Council of Pharmacy Education, United States Association called uh, Pharmacy uh, Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education. Uh, I think we are the only one faculty in this area certified by this association. It is very essential. Additionally, uh, in our faculty, there are a lot of students from Africa continent uh, and then Nigeria, uh, Pharmacist Council of Nigeria, has also certified or accredited our education. Uh, so we are waiting you to see in our faculty. We will be very happy. I and my colleagues uh, will be very happy to work with you in this way. Thank you so much for the Professor Dr. Ihsan Chalish uh, for his presentation, presentation and essential information that he has shared with you and with all of us about uh, the pharmacy faculty. So now I would like to speak about uh, frequently asked questions and provide you the information accordingly. So today, uh, as I mentioned before, we are speaking about the faculty of nursing and the faculty of pharmacy. Uh, both faculties offers the programs uh, instructed in English or in Turkish languages. Uh, undergraduate nursing program is uh, duration four years. Undergraduate pharmacy program is five years. For both faculties, master programs is two years and for PhD programs is four years. So let me go through the departments under the faculties accordingly. Let's start first with the nursing faculty. So uh, faculty of nursing uh, offers undergraduate two programs, one which is instructed in English and one which is instructed in Turkish. So accordingly, uh, based to your preferences, you can choose the program, which one you would like to uh, go through the four years education uh, based to the language. And then the master and PhD programs accordingly uh, for both level uh, degrees, it's child health and pedi pediatric nursing, fundamentals of nursing and nursing administration, internal medicine nursing, mental health and uh, psychiatric nursing, uh, obstetrics and gynecology nursing, surgical nursing, 
So these programs are instructed in Turkish language and also there is program nursing, which has both options, either in English you can choose, either in Turkish, both for master and for PhD. Going further with the departments for the pharmacy faculty, so uh, same as the nursing, also the pharmacy faculty offers uh, undergraduate programs with both options for English language of instruction and Turkish language of instructions. Once more pharmacy program is five years of education and then master program and PhD programs, both the same are uh, departments available are analytical chemistry in English or in Turkish, clinical pharmacy in English, clinical pharmacy, uh, botany in English or in Turkish uh, and pharmacognosy in English or in Turkish. So this is the choices, uh, the, the plenty of choices that the students even after graduation, graduate degree can uh, further their education with the specific programs based on their preferences and interest to be specialist in. So uh, moving on as uh, uh, pharmacy uh, dean uh, has mentioned it's very important about the accreditation so uh, the pharmacy faculty is accredited by the council for pharmacy education as well as pharmacist council of nigeria for the nursing faculty nursing faculty is accredited by nursing and midwifery council of nigeria and nursing council of zimbabwe so as uh, dean also mentioned we are, we are having lots of uh, students from uh, Africa continent and this information is very essential for them. Uh, students of pharmacy and uh, students of nursing, both of them has very, uh, very high quality facilities, including the hospital that they have the real experience and practice in our hospital, Niri's hospital, which is located in our campus. They have uh, experience to study and face la the laboratories where they can do experiences as well as the clinics. So these programs are so much about the practice and experience, not only the theoretical knowledge that the students will get, which is very advantage and also very interesting for the students. One of your uh, main question is how to apply to our university. So let me go through the admission requirements and how you should apply to our university. So very easy way to apply to our university. Either you can fill the form which you can find on our website or you can contact us via email, which we will show you very soon on the screen with the requirements of admission to our university. So you should send your documents required, which I will mention now very soon, to our email address, which is info at neu.edu.er. And if you have any questions as well, you can mention them in your email. Our online application unit will be very happy to assist you according your all questions and concerns. So uh, for the undergraduate admission, the main requirements are internationally valid passport, and uh, your high school certificate, which enables you to study abroad. Certificates or diplomas are accepted by our university for the admission, which is general certificate of secondary education or uh, international general certificate of secondary education exam results, international baccalaureate, ACT and CAT exam results, higher secondary certificate of education for Pakistani, Indian and Bangladesh students especially, WIAC or NECO exam results for Nigerian students or other uh, West Africa applicants, uh, Gao Kao exam results for Chinese students and as I said as well, high school diploma for all other overseas students are acceptable. For the postgraduate admission, master and PhD, so for master it's as well internationally valid passport, uh, and your bachelor degree diploma with your transcript. If you have any 
additional qualifications such as language proficiency certificate. You can also submit them with your application documents for the evaluation. For the PhD program uh, admission, same internationally valid passport, master degree diploma and transcript, bachelor degree diploma and transcript, PhD thesis proposal, CV, and as well as qualification certificates if you have any. So these ones are the main the requirements for the admission at our university. If you have any questions regarding your certificates or you are not sure about it, feel free to contact us via email. We, uh, our online application unit will be very happy to assist you accordingly. And uh, for the additional note, if your certificates are in the language of your country or any other uh, language, uh, English translation or Turkish translation, uh, official translation is required for your documents in order to be able to apply to our university. So that's all for the requirements and happy news. Uh, so for the scholarships, uh, which students always asking. So our university offers 50% scholarship for the faculty of nursing and faculty of nursing, sorry, pharmacy undergraduate international students for master uh, programs. Both faculties offers 25% scholarship. And at the moment, uh, as I'm always mentioning every Friday, uh, we are we have open uh, Near East University Postgraduate Scholarship admission uh, by the uh, Near East University Scholarship Committee. So any applicant can apply for master or, uh, with thesis or PhD programs and be granted scholarship accordingly. So uh, hurry up uh, till the end of summer, submit your application and uh, we will be very happy to assist you with, uh, with your scholarship admission or for undergraduate any, uh, any admission to our university. Moving on with the tuition fees, so regardless the scholarship uh, for the postgraduate admission, so for undergraduate international students, uh, let me just share with you on the screen very soon uh, the tuition fees so you can see them visually for nursing faculty uh, with a 50% scholarship for undergraduate student, as I mentioned, is 2,800 euro per year for master with 25% scholarship for international students is 1,030 euro per semester. And for PhD, each first and third semesters is 2,000 euro and fourth and eighth semester is 960 euro. So these ones, as I said, is regardless the scholarship admission. And if you would apply for the admission and you would be granted the scholarship uh, other than I just mentioned, your tuition fees would be applied and you would be informed accordingly to your scholarship that you would be granted. And moving on with the pharmacy faculty, so the tuition fee for undergraduate uh, students, international students with 50% scholarship is 4,300 euro per year. For master with 25% is 1,030 euro per semester and for PhD each first and third semester is 3000 and each fourth and eighth semester is 1400 euro per semester. Just let me bring to your attention that the tuition fees for undergraduate is per year that I have mentioned and for master and PhD is per semester. So uh, let me mention once more that our university does not give the education to the students you can find the whole package of the social life that you would enjoy here, associations of the uh, students according the uh, program department that they're studying, according the region that they are from, according the, uh, based on the language that they speak and many other, uh, let's say, uh, things that the students are interested in, even sports or, clubs that they would like to enjoy or expand their interest. We have many clubs and associations on our university which would enrich your social and cu cultural life here on campus, here in studying at Near East University. We are uh, also very happy and it is so great to hear about your interest studying in our uh, university. And we are receiving other specific questions which just let me go through with you so we have received the question from mr islam uh, 
Uh, I'm currently studying in Ukraine and how can I complete my degree in nearest university? So this is very simple uh, procedure. You should follow the same uh, application admission requirements as for undergraduate students. In addition, you should submit the transcript from Ukraine university that you have studied as well as the course's description or in other words, outline that you have, uh, you have taken and you have been graded with. So you will submit them also scan copies or clear pictures of them along with the other required documents and your application. Uh, how many courses you will be exempted and from which year you would start at our university. So uh, just uh, don't hesitate, contact us and we will be very happy to assist you with your application. Next question is from Mr. Abdullah. I'm in need of scholarship. How can I apply for scholarship in master's degree? So as I just mentioned before, we have uh, going on postgraduate admission for master with thesis and PhD programs. So just you need to contact us via email and you will be assisted accordingly. The requirements for the admission has been already uh, presented. So bachelor degree, transcript and diploma, your internationally valid passport mainly, and any if you have any additional certificates, qualification certificates such as language proficiency. That would be all you need to do. Uh, the third question from Ms. Tita. Hello, can I ask you something about studying in one of your colleges? So uh, I let me just once more mention to you that Near East University is the campus that uh, has insight from the kindergarten level till the PhD level education. And uh, starting with all ages, all students would get the education according their interests. So uh, regarding the colleges of Hirist College, we would advise you to contact us via email and we would assist you what you need to do and what is the responsible unit that will guide you for the, for the starting studies at our nearest college. Many thanks for your question. Uh, next question from Miss Nina. After graduating from pharmacy program, what degree I will be awarded? Yeah, that's the question that concerns many of the, our pharmacy students. So pharmacy program, as I mentioned, is five years of education and students who complete this uh, program are graduating and being awarded with the M pharmacy, which is master of pharmacy. And it also enables them to apply directly to PhD program. So even if the student uh, would like to, they can directly apply to PhD student uh, to PhD studies and study PhD further. Uh, that would be all with the questions today. Many thanks for them and keep doing them, keep writing them to us, and uh, we will be very happy to assist you accordingly with with the information. As we, uh, as we will receive them. And now I would like to continue with the students' presentations and testimonials of our faculties and Near East University families. So I would like now to bring your attention to Ms. Yesamin, very lovely stu student of, phar uh, of pharmacy uh, from us. And then we will move on with our very great bright student Aliyu of nursing. So let's start now with pharmacy student Yasemin. The attention is to you. Firstly, thank you so much for uh, inviting me for this uh, interview. I'm Yasemin Ağaçhan. I came from Istanbul uh, to, be to be pharmacist uh, in nearest university. Firstly, uh, studying abroad is a real, real adulthood experience for a student because, especially in Turkey, 
We are graduating from the high school in seven, 18 years, but we have no life experience. So studying abroad, especially as a Cyprus, is more advantageous uh, for a student because you never learn just uh, being pharmacist B or being engineer. You are just learning real life, especially in a biggest campus. In our campus, we have a market, a sports area, a special faculty buildings, different. Also, so we have different friends from different areas. I want to complete my master's degree in my university, but uh, I should find a good area for me because uh, I'm so confused about uh, which area, which area of pharmacy is good for me because I want to be forensic pharmacy or toxicology or pharmacognosy yes. but I should uh, ask in my academicians uh, which one is appropriate for me which one is so good for me Thank you so much, Ms. Yasemin, for your testimonial and such a nice uh, share of experience. We wish you all the best in your uh, studies and to achieve your goals. And now let us move uh, further with uh, Mr. Aliyu uh, testimonial from the Faculty of Nursing. So, uh, Mr. Aliyu, the attention is to you. <laughs> Good day, everyone. My name is Ali Yunuhu Salihu, and I'm from Nigeria, Kano State. And uh, last year, 2020, I, uh, I finished my BSc in nursing here in Cyprus, and I'm currently pursuing my master's degree in public health nursing. And also, I'm a member of uh, nursing, uh, to to uh, Cyprus Turkish Nursing and Midwife Association here in Cyprus. Like I can say, studying in Cyprus, it's like you are studying in the center of the world. You get to meet different people from different continents, not even from different countries, from different cont content, Africans, Asians, from Europe and from any other part of the world. So studying here, it's very, very important. And also from my, from the, from Near East, you can see like most of the lecturers here in Near East are professors. So we get you get to learn from experienced lecturers, you know, and also from my department. Uh, most of our lecturers are professors, and specifically for the people who are in health science, like the university, the school has like world class uh, hospital where students practice there. So it's very nice and you find the school like very, very enjoyable and amazement in the school. My picture plan since I did my BSc here and also I'm doing masters. So after I finish my masters, I want to go back to my country to do national license also in Nigeria. So after that, maybe I will continue to do PhD. I will continue to do PhD. So that's my plan. If you haven't made your decision about either you come or not, I'm advising you to come to Nias University. You find the place very friendly and you will feel at home when you are in Nias University. In Nigeria, somewhere in northern part or northern part of Nigeria, Hausawa, Idamba can make your mind in Kawa Akamwa Chamakaran Tarakabu, so Kazonia is university, so the Lakasaimi, Lakasaimi, the Kamar Kanagida, you will feel at home when you are in Nias University.
many thanks, Aliyu, for your uh, speech and your testimonial uh, honest experience with our prospective students, which I believe very happy to see you and hear you, even speaking in your own language. That is very nice. And uh, we have received a few more questions uh, while we are presenting uh, and going live uh, with this stream for this uh session so let us go uh, once more and let me answer to your question so from mr osama is there a scholarship for undergraduate student in engineering faculty yes uh, for the undergraduate international students our university offers 50 percent scholarship so it would be same uh, tuition fees for the for the programs of engineering uh 2800 euro per year and for the petroleum and natural gas engineering program would be 4,200 euro per year with a 50% scholarship applied. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Osama for your question. And the next question is, how could I get chance for PhD degree in safety engineering? So for the available programs in engineering faculty under the Graduate School of Applied Science, please contact us via email or our WhatsApp number. And for regarding the requirements, I already mentioned them uh, before. So your uh, bachelor degree diploma and transcript, your master degree diploma and transcript, CV, PhD thesis proposal, and uh, also if you have any qualification certificates. So that would be all with the questions. Many thanks for you that you keep sending them to us. Even we are uh, during the session, we are very happy to receive them. And now once more, I would like to thank to uh, both faculty deans for their perfect and essential information sharing with our students. And as well as to Ms. Yasemin and Mr. Ali for sharing their experience studying here at Niris University. Uh, that is the huge contribution to our project. I would like to thank to everyone who is contributing to this project and every session uh, that we're running every Friday. And that would be all from us today. If you thank you for your questions and your interest show towards our university. If you have missed any sessions, which we have already done plenty of them, you can find them all on our YouTube or Facebook pages recorded remaining there. And uh, we will be back next Friday, as always, at the same time with the live stream regarding the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. And I would like to bring into your attention that you will see the perfect presentation as well about the nearest animal hospital, which is the huge advantage for the students who is choosing to study veterinary medicine program. So see you all next Friday. And don't forget to send your inquiries in advance for the full information that we can share. Uh, let me share with you the contact details uh, which you can contact us through on the screen. So either email, either Facebook, either WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, whatever you like. We will be very happy to assist you according your uh, inquiries and guide you accordingly. Uh, so that would be all for today. Many thanks once more to everyone that is contributing to this project. And as always, from wherever you are, let's stay near. <laughs>
Never nothing when it's real, yeah.